pursuant to Section 60 of the Credit Union Act. The said examination was conducted between July and August. It's actually commenced on the 11th of July last year, and a report was provided to me. On the 5th of July, 2022, I also placed the credit union under a regime of enhanced supervision by appointing on-site examiners to review the day-to-day -day operations of the credit union. The board continues to disregard its fiduciary responsibilities under the Credit Union Act to provide strategic direction, ensure that risks are properly managed, and establish sound corporate values and conduct, thereby compromising the safety and soundness of the credit union. The board's non-committal responses to address the grave issues uncovered during on-site examinations are strong indicators that the board is not equipped or disposed to discharge its fiduciary responsibilities to members and depositors of the credit union. The culture of unaccountability at the management level continues to result in subjective decision-making and self-dealing practices while discounting the risk and potential losses to the credit union. The committees are ineffective in their roles of managing credit and in providing unbiased, objective review of St. Francis Xavier Credit Union's risk management, governance, and internal controls processes. For these reasons, I have concluded, the, concluded that the appointment of an administrator is required to protect the equities and interests of the members, owners of St. Francis Xavier Credit Union.